um, I'm going to cut this part. I am going to make an official complaint to the Ghana police. Anytime this guy steps his foot in this country, I'll make sure he's locked. And you see, he go do you like he be joke. And hey, if he be say, I will take my life savings to make sure say, that this guy is dragged for doing this. I don't know if Interpol can step in, but you can't sit there and threaten me. If you dare Ghana like them, pick him out. Welcome to this episode of Yahoo of the Day. My name is Koji Sheldon and the head is big for a reason. Now, this episode of Yahoo of the Day is brought to you by um, tenantco.com. Um, now, tenantco is if you're a national service personnel or a nurse, OJ or salary and our allowance for uh, e-switch system, Nima. they have um, various forms of loans. I'll be to me apply for them. Um, yes, interest rates in the that form into log on to www.tenantco.com. Now, your word. Now, yes, I've been trending since yesterday and I love it. You know, I'm always in the news feed, so yes, it's part of the job. Now, the whole thing to uh, the whole thing we say they say it be me, I do make them fire the bongo guy. And you see, people are all, people are all, people are running with it, the narrative because they don't want to. Me, I don't. I'm not going to use my Twitter uh, platform to explain to you people now. Nah, meet me on YouTube. Let me explain to you. When you watch it, please watch the advert too, so that you know how we do it. You understand? Uh huh. I didn't explain. I've since I've been on the trend list since yesterday, and yes, it's part of life. Now, I am here to address the issue or the fact that people are saying, "Say I am the one who caused the guy to be." Um, fired from uh, GH, is it GH base or GHP? Uh, no, it's not GHP, it's GH base. Now, this is what happened. I'm not going to talk about what happened between him and Anaba and all those things because I feel like that topic has been exhausted. Now, the tennis, me, me, I don't know this guy, the Bongo guy, I don't know him from anywhere. He's in the industry that I operate, but me, I don't even have friends over there and I just do my thing. Now, this guy randomly. My old account, new account, uh, has been moving to me like randomly. You go if you drop a picture of a t-shirt that you are selling, then this guy will come and insult you. You somebody go if you compliment your content, then this guy will come and insult you and the guy. He has done it on several occasions. Like I go if you pull screenshots, show you, and he knows that is why when he issued an apology, my name was inside. When he issued the apology, there was a reason why because you showed it was inside. First of all, me, I don't have a problem with people drag. If ah, people drag me every day on that platform, I don't fight you. I always tell you that I'm going to use you to make money. And that is what annoys a lot of people. But that is the fact. Many times I'm nowhere back and forth. So he has been moving to me, moving to me. That is not a problem. I don't have a problem with him moving to me because I move to people. I have a problem with him coming to me to apply for a job. And that is what caused the whole screenshot thing. So you have moved to me on several occasions. Like, Oh, Charlie, sometimes on pro, we go to post picture of laptop, then this guy will come and insult you. I've never understood that. And me, at some point, I felt like he was going through some challenges in life. So that'd be like how he go through vents and splints. Maybe mentally, you know, be, you know, be stable and all those things. So maybe that'd be how they address some of this issue. You know, there are people who are, they are angry in life. So they come on social media and they attack random people. Like what he did, he moved to a lot of girls. Like, you don't know them. Some girl posting picture, I say the girl, they look like tabletop fridge and things. A whole lot of things. You don't know the girl too. So, yes. Then you insult me uh, in the comment section. Then you come and send me a message that you want to, uh, you, want me, you want me to employ you. When I saw the message, I was like, ah, is this guy okay? So I didn't, I didn't mind him. Then uh, I ignored him. He followed me on Facebook too. Sent a message. He, he needed a job. I know mine now. He come back on Twitter. Say, he can't text me. They need job. I know my name. So the day that that Anaba incident happened, I was like, ah, this guy, I know him. He's been moving to me. The, th the same thing Anaba, the people, they drag him for now. He's been doing it to me. And he applied for, like, he sent me a message that he wanted a job from me. So I ghosted him. People say, nah, why I talk that? Because me too, I did do to people. Why I say, yes, I did do to people. But they, there's no way, if I've moved to somebody, yeah, where I know, say, I've moved to this person and I've offended him and I've not apologized, yeah. Even if I go seek job from the person and the person say, no, I'm not going to give it to you because of this and this and that. I am not going to come on social media and court public empathy or make the people look bad for not giving me a job because I knew what I did and I'm supposed to be responsible for what I did or I'm supposed to be responsible for uh, my, my, my decisions. So I didn't understand why the guy 
that day when the video of, was posted and I quoted that, the, the guy tweeted. He replied that um, um, he replied my reply to him, or he replied my reply to that video that I commented on, and this is what he said. He he said something about the fact that I built my platform um, leeching off OMG, so it was lack, and the fact that the people didn't watch me, you know, you my audience, you, know, you people lack taste and preference. This is the guy who was looking for job from me. So the person, you are now insulting me, telling me, say, oh, the platform, no, it be what? Uh, people, then they watch, no, uh, then they lack taste and preference. So imagine, say, you want to come and work for a platform with the audience, where then they give me money, I will take pay, you know. You say, then they lack taste and preference. We sense it inside. That is why I've always maintained the standard. Apart from this being a social media friend or something, the guy, maybe he's mentally unstable. Because you don't move to someone, come back and apply for it. If I want to work for a company like Vodafone, I don't go about insulting them. Even if I know, say, maybe their internet is not faster. I'll keep mute because I want to work in the space. Maybe it will be through me where the internet will speed up. So I'll keep quiet so I'll apply. But you don't insult somebody. Then come back and come and tell the person, say, you want a job from him. So the day, that, the day he replied that... Um, the, my audience, they lack taste and preference for consuming my content. And I screen, I screenshot that conversation and I posted it. I was like, ah, this was just a few months ago. Meanwhile, then you then your boss get issue. Say so, on this social media, you didn't confer to me. Now you are not even meeting your quota over there. And that is not my business. Because if they are giving you uh, 10 stories a day to write, and you rather come on social media and be insulting people by and uh, not write the stories over there, and your boss has withdrawn your allowances, so how is that my business? So, the, I mean, because the boss withdrawing allowances based on the stories that, um, or based on the explanations that the boss gave, you know, then your man, they look for a job. That's why he approached me. And because I posted a screenshot, the guy, the boss felt like, oh, now nah, the guy betrayed me. And you see, the, prop, the fact that people are trying to drag me into the conversation and the narrative, it be, it be daft. Because, first of all, why are you people not letting the guy be responsible and accountable for what he did? I go open my uh, uh, email, show you, I know go do. But there are a lot of people that have sent me, like, uh, their CVs and all those things. I'm not going to post it. Because, yes, that kind of... Be but you don't move to me. Insult me. Insult the craft that you want to work for. They expect me to employ you. There is, that is the reason why I posted that. Because, oh, boss, the thing that me that you are insulting me, telling me, say, the people that didn't watch my content, they, they lack taste and preference, no? These be the same people that you wanted to work for. So what is the point? Are you Okay. That was the thing. Meanwhile, then you had an issue with your boss. And your boss has fired you. And now you are, you are saying that I was the guy. I was the one who made them fire him. No. You see, that is the problem with Ghanaians. We always want to do, yes. You want to be an agenda boy until it is time for you to be accountable for your shit. You don't want to be accountable for it. Then you go like, yeah, you want to cut public sympathy. and It doesn't work that way. Let the guy know that there is a, he apologized. Did he not apologize? The guy himself apologized because he knew what he did was stupid. Then you people are back there talking about, hey, and then the guy, and no. He apologized a long list of people that he thinks he has offended. Why are you mad? Why are you mad? I don't get it. If the guy is saying, say, okay, I have, maybe this is a true or this is something or this is something. By the end of the day, I think I've offended these people, so I'm apologizing. Then why are you mad? Like, Crawford, DHA said, people are even saying that you shouldn't have apologized. Mm. And Kevin Taylor has come in, dragging a whole lot of people, and my name has popped up. He, uh, he made mention, said, somebody should shoot me and all those things. I don't know. I don't think he's going to step his foot in this country because I'll make sure, say, I'll, I'll follow up this case because you can't sit in the America there and threaten me. No, you can't do that. Because there's no... That I have never mentioned this guy's name anywhere. I know, yeah, this guy, in the end, some, he did disrespect everybody. Everybody for this country gain in part. But if you go through insults me, but you know, go through, tell people, say, me they shoot me. It doesn't work that way. And first, I know people. I am going to make sure I forward this case and I'll continue on so, Because you know, go through, tell me that. Me, then you know they so. You go feel insult me that my head is big, blah, 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 blah. Call me Jimmy Foy and all those things. But the moment you threaten my life, it is over. And trust me, I am going to forward this thing. You relax. I will make sure I follow this case and I will be updating your people. Make, they make you know come this country inside. Because most of so Jimmy is so sound or this country and this guy feels like he's untouchable. 
To me, he's not untouchable. That, but that is not why, why I'm here. I'm just going to play the video so that you know the reason why I am taking some decisions. Because I don't see how this issue serves the concern. Him. If you want to employ the guy, employ him. Put him on $10,000 uh, salary. Nobody cares. But what you people are forgetting is that the guy himself has accepted that what he did was wrong. But you people want to hail him as some hero. Like, yeah, he'd be some martyr and You know, it makes sense to me. It doesn't make sense anywhere. This is never done anywhere. And that is my problem with the system. The guy has come out to apologize and you are gassing him. Tell, and uh, Yes, if he has been employed, good for him. So I am going to play the video of Kevin Taylor insulting me. The insult part there is normal. I get insulted every day. But the fact that he made mention of the fact somebody should shoot me, you know. Well, if I make this issue sleep, then it'll be me. For I will, I will make sure I, I go launch complaint. I go go I, wherever I for go, I for go. And this is a video evidence because this guy has been fooling, fooling, fooling. This is like a seventy-five year old man, and I don't know how he got his visa to that America day that he day. He's been fooling. I don't have a problem. Do you insult me? But don't threaten me because he has he has done, he has said a whole lot of things. I could have picked him up. I, I could have. I mean, reply to some of the things he says to like big, big people in this country or something like that. You don't see me engaging him because I don't have time. He's doing what is, what is good for him and I'm doing my, my own. So you don't do a video and threaten me. So uh, I know Honorable Kennedy Japan has sued him some million dollars and things. Uh, I don't think if you look at this man, he's even, he even have, uh, has that money and all those things. But that is his business. You should deal with it. I'm going to play the video. And the part that he threatened me, Please take note because eventually it is going to happen. And I'm going to make sure that I follow up. Because to me in America, now you miss her. This case no the concern you. I don't know why it's all over the place. But anyway, let's go. Now let's go straight and take our business. Now this is trending. On a normal day, I don't deal with bloggers issue. On a normal day, I don't deal with bloggers issue. On a normal day, you know, I try everything possible to make sure say issues are uh, national issues, you know, national interest, you know, and that we deal with here. Mm -hmm. This is something for the bloggers. But for some specific reason, you know, I have decided to speak on this matter because it is looking like say in Kofobi or Ghana, the little opportunity now, you know, they want to abuse that opportunity. Now let me tell you something. Abusing people on social media is wrong. Bullying people on social media is wrong. But when you take your personal issues from social media, not so old, but not a year, an event, I say, not open, say, what is our personal issue? No, any obedience one on one, that I will not agree. But this is the same thing this guy has been doing. This guy basically has a show that he personally attacked people. So you see the problem now, you see, Ghanaian say. Because a lot of us, we are gullible, um, I, I, and, and I'm not going to say say don't consume his content. But what this guy did do on his show, if you have been watching him, the loud silence thing that he has been doing, and what he's talking about, what would be the difference? If you insult people, I insult their mothers, their fathers. This is supposed to be a professional platform for him to tackle national issues. If you insult, I insult people, they're my wives, their children, their grand, great-grandparents. You know what I'm talking about. So, you see the hypocrisy here. I don't get it. You are complaining about something. Some people shouldn't use professional or what? Um, um, professional platforms to address their personal scores. You use your platform to address your personal scores. Then you come and sit here and you want to be like, yeah. You, you see the problem? And the fact that we don't think beyond issues, you have people gaslighting and gassing him. Like, for what? This guy is no better person than the people he's criticizing. He, he go feel so, ah, oh, no, you people watching show before. Oh, to me, yeah, like, oh, to me, yeah, like, oh, yeah, you, your, 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 your sickness, you know, he talk, he talk says to boy, the Apache and all those things. This is the guy, this guy thinks he has the moral grounds to come and talk. You see, even this country, the standard is in the gutter. So, when you, yeah, I, I always say we want a standard be in the gutter flat. So when people like this, you no, know, when, when you can speak good English, they don't care whether you, what you are speaking, there's sense in it. Yes, they see you as a sensible person. Because if you critically analyze what this guy has been doing on his platform, 
bro like he he doesn't even have the moral grounds to open his mouth to talk about what is happening because you attack people's parents their children their illness their sickness permanent scars on people you use it to laugh at them they come and sit here and you want to talk about what personal scores on professional platforms this is your this is your champion this one you need a stripping man because any single person let me let me um let me take care of something here any single person i or say on the day on abusing or be our social media i know i want that person should come out and say no one has said anything against anyone or made any der derogatory statement against anyone sometimes it might not be direct sometimes you might not even know that what you are writing or saying you know it's going to make the person feel bad or whatever but the issue is when people take matters from their social media ah a your personal thing to an event and i said to a program ah will be any nisika shim sebesha then it gets to that point you get to know say some people are abusing the little uh, privilege that is the same thing you have been doing you use your personal platform to settle uh, uh, you use your your, your 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 platform your organization to settle your personal scores i'm trying to understand the dynamics here because this guy is an embodiment of hypocrisy and the you see I blame Ghanaians, man. We now we do. We we now we do. Now, these political second wives, and I'm you see the names they call them political second wives. No, no evidence, nothing. You see the name calling. He has started, but <sighs> once again, the bar is in the gutter. So some things like this, we will hail it. Cool, go ahead. Ad nana ba na moa se wa ame here o se di di na omo na nam this kalas kalas girls no. Now something is happening now. If we don't speak against it, it will a bedroom point be no. The little or tiny fame ah, yeah, there are some small small girls be or Ghana any member wa be no. It will get to a point ah, they will think that tiny tiny fame no. That small tiny fame now. Sebio, it is all about. I know this person, I know this person in they they have technically become intelligent, you know. That small tiny fame, you know, it will destroy everything. And I'm saying this because more who story we are going around all over the place about Nanaba Namwa Sewa Mary Hill said the NDA and Bridget Otu. Ah, this young man who went for audition. Now we all saw what happened, how these ladies bullied this guy, all because they said this guy on Twitter was trolling Nanaba Namwa or somebody else. Inti, that was the opportunity for them to treat this young man as a criminal. Now, you have to understand this. This young man is intelligent than these three women. I'm being honest with you. You know why he is intelligent? He is intelligent because he was bold to face you people. He was bold to at least, if you had given him the chance to defend what he said. And I'm saying these three ladies because I heard Bridget Otu was part of it. This young man is more smarter, more intelligent, more confident than the three of you because you people were just there to act. He was there to show you people what he can actually do. So for you people to get that opportunity to sit there and when you read the boy's account, step-by-step -step account, how and how they treated him, even chasing him, calling him a thief, you, Nanaba, Namwa, Sewa, Dien, Dien, Kales, Kales, and what, 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 Bridget Otu, making this boy look like some... See if you be somebody would have lynched this boy for no reason. I didn't try because you people feel say when you wear poor dancers mocks to sit on TV, you are intelligent. No, and especially somebody like Nana Banamwa. Why not? Jin said she's the most intelligent person in Ghana. You should not. You should not question her intelligence and her utterances. That is how she has lived her life. Into no this sister don't worry because. So if we are talking about attacking issues professionally. What has his marriage got to do with? You see the issue. Oh yeah, let me just skip to where he starts my own because I didn't hear me. He said, "Cause I didn't see me." Didn't start what? And now you are you are raising yourself. Uh -huh. What I'm hearing is, uh, this guy after the nonsense Nanaba Namwadems did, you no. Know, uh -huh. After the nonsense Nanaba Namwadems did, you no. Know, this guy has fired the young man. 
So this is like Chris Handler. This is a picture of Chris Handler. That is the boss. Um, so yeah, that's the fire thing he's talking about. Yes, his name is Chris Hand Chris Handler. Chris Handler. He is the owner of GH Page. On air, the blogger there. It's not GH Page. It's GH Base. Now, once again, he's um um um. You don't even get the facts right. It's GH Base. Now you are insulting GH Page, right? And if they want to sue you, people will say, "Oh God." Once again, the bar is in the gutter. So we are all in the gutter. That is why somebody like him thinks that he has a superior opinion when it comes to some of these issues. Because, oh God, Ghanaians, I blame you people. Girls, we have friends say, fire the boy. This boy is your best writer. He's your best entertainment writer. You handler, how many times have you written on that your blog? How many times have you written on that your page? You don't have... You see the problem? He doesn't even know Chris Handler. He has been able to build a platform, like, for himself. And he has employed people. Now, you're saying, say, the guy that he hired to write for him is a, a better writer than him. No fat. Just, yes. He feels like he wants to talk. No, yeah. Continue. Man has. But because Jimmy Jimmy, these girls foolishly tell you go and fire the guy. He says, and the reason why this idiot is giving Alquinto or Swa fire the young man every GH page as a blood. Okay, so my own they come. J the, the waxes in your ears and listen. Can I say? He says the young man is talking to another or other media houses for job opportunities. So he has fired him. What do you mean? Are you crazy? When you, you see, say he is not even mentioning the fact that the guy wasn't able to meet quotas allocated to him. The KPIs that were allocated to the guy, you are supposed to meet this number of stories. You are supposed to churn in this number of stories. He wasn't able to meet it on several occasions, and it was indicated in um, Chris Handler's write-up on his page. He said he has picked the one that would. Oh, me say if this guy, if you set up a debate, put this guy one on one, say let us debate. He doesn't have anything. The value, no day there. But you see that because he can talk, he can talk, he can talk Ghanaians. Yes, me, me say, all it takes for you to be, uh, 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 to be like people to follow you and all in this country, we say you just have to know English, proper English. Then just drop, drop some big, big words in it. People feel say, yes, you have sense and all those things. Because if, you, if this guy wanted to analyze this issue, then, I mean, devoid of, 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 of partiality and biases and personal biases, sir. And Kobe called the guy in page go see say on several occasions you know, the bongo guy was not able to deliver, and so his allowances were withdrawn. All this contributed to him being kicked out. But no, run with the narrative. Once again, the bar is in the gutter. In the world, people are working there as managers, they are still talking to other companies for better positions, and that does not go against any company rule. Okay, you have not even employed this guy as a permanent person you are giving this guy uh, um, is is any commissions so you turn around and you make this kominini girls we are almost share jantra for shoo shoo for way mok mok way tell you to fire the boy i didn't try the boy throw the not nana namwa and with an adam once a damn minimum the boy showed mrs 49 it's a bc wow see we we going personal as people <sighs> well, young queen. So you two, you foolishly say you have fired the boy because the boy was. And when you listen to the story, I'm gonna say, boy, Jimmy, Jimmy, I'm afraid you could just and it is a mutu asi ya or nam gane. Oh, you do anya the life. I see it is a mutu asi, but how a mutu asi they like? Are they come? Port to make sure your, your page is, 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 is closed because like, I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, it is yeah. beginning to know, sir. On the ground, I need this guy's name because I need to address him. Because what I am hearing and I say, but because Jimmy Jimmy, these girls foolishly tell you go and they are still talking to other companies for better position. Anna, Nana ba na muamu ejimi omo chire no. And then when the issue happened, you know, this could have shared and it is a boss from Nasa no. A boss from Nasa they how they like. He went to pick that private conversation between himself and the guy a brother guy was saying you know what i work here uh if there's any opinion anywhere let me know i can do two jobs or so this is the problem and this is why people are saying i know Ghanaians. a lot of people don't like me and i love it because this word if a lot of people like you it means you are doing 
you they do your things to please them and all. I don't do my things to please people. So people are, people have decided to run with this kind of narrative without hearing what even happened because the story is actually this guy's show is popular on Facebook. And a lot of people on Facebook, they don't even know how to use their Twitter account. So they don't know what happened prior to me posting it. Now, this is what happened. I've explained it, but let me highlight it. The guy um, on several occasions moved to me, um, disrespected my craft. Um, 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 he said all the derogatory things about me. And that wasn't even the problem to me because, of course... And they're saying, yeah, we were Jumanas already do my term, and they're fine because me too. Sometimes, in the course of my work or in the line of my work, I do it to people. So I don't have a problem. But the issue is the guy moved to me after the insults. No, he moved to me that he wanted a job. I don't talk anything, I don't screenshot. That time he DM me, I just ignore him because I wasn't employing and I wasn't hiring. So I ignored him. He came to Facebook, did the same thing. Then the day the incident happened, I was like, oh, this is the guy. I saw the video on my dad. This is the guy. He moved to me. He sorted me. Like, what happened to the Nana Batten? He dissed them and um, went to a show that then be judges for top. I don't know what he was expecting to happen. So, he, he, I mean, the day I, I quoted the tweet saying, he said, ah, this guy, pa, he moved to me some time back. Then he DM me saying he wanted a job. I mean, I go stand. I don't mind. I'm safe. That is what I said. Then the guy came back saying, he said, uh, I built my platform out of luck. Uh, the people that watch my content, they lack taste and preference, and uh, there is nothing special about me. He used all those uh, things on me, and I was and I screenshot that this thing, um, um, the the um, the message he sent me on Twitter. I said, ah, but this was you a month ago. So ah, the platform that you wanted to work for, no, you knew all this thing about the platform, but you wanted to work for, or you wanted to work with the person who handled the the platform, and that is how the thing happened. But it is not because of the screenshots. Not be the, the main reason he was fired. He was fired because he was fired because he was incompetent. He wasn't delivering. If you read uh, Chris Handler's write up, he stated categorically said the guy wasn't delivering. So he redrawn what the the, the 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 allowances. So technically, he was like on on probation. And be, because the guy's allowance was redrawn, he was looking for jobs elsewhere. So you see what the thing they, so that is a problem. You people don't know. You see, people don't want to because it's because you sure they don't they don't want to hear. I've seen people in my comment section insult. I don't those days I would fight you. Like I would come on Twitter. And, no, I don't have time. Come and watch this video for me. That is the most important. I'm not coming to exchange with you on Twitter. No, I don't have time. I'm verified. You are not. Yes. Fact. Right, verification, it comes with responsibility. I'm not coming to, ah, uh, now me to Twitter, now me, oh, that's a, I have a company to run. Let's, let's go. So that is what happened. It's not, it is not, you see, and the fact that people don't want this guy to be responsible for his actions, you know, and hear me, you know, the guy has apologized because he knew what he did, uh, what he did was wrong. He has apologized. If you want to pick him up and give him a $500,000 a month uh, offer, I don't have a problem. Give it to him. Maybe when he starts writing for you and he's not giving you the number of stories that you want, you would understand. You go understand, say no. Now, I can't cry. Now, nah. hmm. I said, I don't know why. My man said, on try 10 stories in a day, but you are the five never. You would understand as a boss. But if you want to use this thing to do like, yeah, you are the, but no problem, employ him and put him on a $10,000 salary. Nobody cares. We are happy for him. But don't make it look like I was the one. I didn't contribute shit to anything. He contributed to his downfall. He set himself up for this. And go and tweet it when and can If we don't go tweet those things, and this story no go get to this side. Let the guy be, let him be responsible for what he did. He's shown remorse. He has apologized. Don't come and sit here and do like, yes, he is some a hero, but he's not a hero. Please. I know we are all hypocrites, but Obi I are saying, yeah, no, I apologize. Let us move on. If you want to give him a job, I if you blow job, cry your money. Yet. I mean, it's Kevin Taylor, you know. He's like, I mean, I don't know whether I be. No, he's not an A-list journalist. He's not a B-list journalist. He's, not a, he's like a Z-list journalist. So, I mean, yes. I'm coming. Now, we have bought me to say, hey, hey, yeah, uh, 
could your punk chroma then those people yes you know um uh, um the, oh uh, uh this thing this piece of um, uh, the piece of um, guy cries is the name come and say fuck kind them they will know all the money you're looking up to now where they say that buga buga now we all will do some so this is like my mate <laughs> You know, so I'm not, I'm not, I'm not bothered. But you see, he said something that you know, I'm coming. The offer. This could have showed in Jimmy Jimmy, you know, took that private conversation and then sent it out there. Okay. Wait, Jimmy. Okay. Somewhere where Jimmy no war Ghana or didn't know him or beyond body trim or beyond body trim to. You see, that is the problem here. So he's basically inciting people to come and shoot me because I, 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 I. I, I leaked a conversation between myself and a person that has uh, that that they get nothing to do with him, and this is what I'm saying. Um, I'm going to cut this part. I am going to make an official complaint to the Ghana police. Anytime this guy steps his foot in this country, I'll make sure he's locked. And you see, he go do you like he be joke. And hey, if he be say I will take my life savings to make sure say that this guy is dragged for doing this. I don't know if Interpol can step in, but you can't sit there and threaten me. If you dare Ghana like them, pick him out. If you dare Ghana like them, pick him up. But you know go day here. That will be where you go feed day. This is what he does. Personal attacks on people, threatening people, insulting people. Then this guy thinks he has the moral grounds to come and sit here and criticize someone. Who the hell do you think you are? I say you, 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 you know, you know, you know, be upper echelon kind of journalist. You be bottommost bot, like flat. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You Ghana bloggers, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ghana bloggers say, say in the them, I'll put you in that category. So please respect yourself, but I am going to make sure I follow this issue. You can't sit there and threaten me. I don't know what I have done to you. Girls, we are. I'm going to say, for shoot, shoot for you, mock, way. Tell you to fire the boy. I didn't try. The boy threw Nana Namwa and with Nana Namwa and said, Damn it, So right now, he has two stories. Um, they fired him because he threw Danaba. They fired him because when you sure didn't leak a conversation. This is your champion. You see the person. Wait, wait, wait. Look, he's not even consistent with his own line of stories. Just like a, a, about a minute ago, you said, "Say I was the one who contributed to, um, or I was the sole reason why the guy was fired." Now you are saying, "Say he insulted Danaba. That is why he was fired." Like, bro, you don't even have your stories in intact. And you want to move to me, you want to threaten me because you feel like you have a platform. I'm gonna feel you quality use my platform to insult you left, right, center, but you no need. You are known for that. Continue. I, honestly, if I want to move to him, ah, I know the fear. I'm gonna feel this, this I'm left, right, center, but you no need. But I will make you see the fact that he threatened me, you know, oh, I know the any, any, any. unless you don't come to Ghana because I'm going to make sure I say I follow up. We have an effective uh, police head right now. Put me, yes, sir. Or your very man, or step in the foot in Ghana and let's see who is the man. Oh my Ghana. So shout out to an Abu Kennedy upon two or two or no Kennedy upon two C1. Just say, we. I don't even have time. Anyway, so that is what happened. Until the guy was fired because of his, uh, uh, his incompetences and the fact that whatever he did on social media came back to haunt him. He has apologized. If you want to give him a job, I don't have a problem. Give him the job. But do not drag me into your narrative. Because you don't... No, your baby said, what? Oh, there is some proverb like that. Uh, do not bite the hand that feeds you. Do not bite the hand that feeds you. I'm not saying I'm going to use, uh, maybe I'm in a position of power or something, I'm going to hold it on people. Actually, I wanted to put him on because he's a good writer. But the platform that you wanted to work for, no, you see there's no value. So, they say, if I, if I bring you on, what are you coming to do? Because the people that you, want to, you wanted to create content for, you say they lack taste and preference. So, what make I do again? Deal with your, your, your issues. Be responsible and accountable for your actions, as period as that. I don't want to hear anything from anybody again. But as this guy, me, I don't respect him. But I'm going to give him that respect on this show because if I want to uh, descend in the gutter, we know we'll finish here. And I will come out to my shirt all. But you know what? Um, I have just highlighted some of the things that he said.
and I'm going to make sure say that part that he threatened me, you know, or he, he actually incited people to come and shoot me, you know. I will follow up and make sure I said, hey, 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 Next time, more Kasamba dream. My name is Kuju Sheldon. This is not hour of the day. This is a this is a statement, my poem. Whatever it is, I'm just here to react. Let's go straight. Your man has a uh, remix. Yeah, I'll talk to you. That's sorry. If you didn't listen to the song, then you know we take time. You would like you go soak yourself for the song inside. You did listen to an answer seven. This is his name. What is it? Uh huh. Peace out. Anything that touches my spirit, I make music about it. Are you that sex symbol? Sex symbol. Yeah. Trust me. Hey, hey, two Jimmy, two Jimmy. At this point, mummy, I'm here with you now. I'm so internet, my mini modem. Yeah, I put no. man be right. Let's move on to my team, Manchester United. You know, I have never seen a clueless coach like Ole before. Hey! Get your I am dying in the hands of this pastor now. This has been the cause of our common sense. And knowledge. Look at what he has done at Medina. Um, uh, me see, he had. Bro, don't be small. I don't like Yo, it. I don't have to laugh. Now they exist. Give us. I'm aware of them. They know they exist. Do you know why inside. I was so much interested in what is my part? Hey, pulling in the finish. Hey, now so we go free hide. We ask me why I'm in here, I'm afraid. I'm still on the ground, cause you know I'm a gem, but they get me a crown, cause they're real over them. They didn't like me like ground, but they don't understand. I'm a shooty star, tell it brrr. We are going to witness the most this is what you have to do with the squad of participants. Alright, you know something? Stupidity is free, so you are free to do it. You are free to do it. And now, your video 